Hunt. Welcome back to Weight of Yao. My name is Yao and it's a pleasure to see you all. So, welcome back guys. I am back with a brand new video. I know I've not filmed and uploaded in a very, very, very long time, but 2020 is the year for all of that to change. <sighs> I feel like I'm in a brand new space. I'm in a brand new phase of my life, a new journey, and I'm ready to take this seriously. As you guys probably know, a lot of you guys actually follow me over on the gram. By the way, my socials will be here somewhere, so check it out, sister. But a lot of you guys follow me on the gram and you know that we have grown so much. We've had so much growth, so much support and so many opportunities over there. And it's made me think I need to come back to, you know, YouTube. This is where I began my whole makeup journey. This is how I started. And for the real OGs, I remember when I was doing um, those little fashion tutorials, bleaching white sneakers and de-sleeving jackets, which a lot of them are privated. <laughs> you can't find a lot of them. But for the OGs, you will know that like, I've been doing this for a hot minute, so it's a little bit sad that we've not grown as much as I would have liked to have grown, but then again, have I been putting in the amount of work that I should be putting in in order to receive those results? Probably not. So here we are, taking it seriously, and I am ready to get slain. This video will be up on Sunday, and from now on, videos will be going up on Sunday. Perfect, of course we had to come back with a bang. I was thinking to myself, what's a really good like video concept to come back with, and... The Queen has released some um, clothing, so we're gonna do a makeup look inspired by Beyonce's Ivy Park clothing range. I thought to myself, wow, this is actually quite a big thing and I love the color scheme as well. Imagine that on the eyes, the lips, and ooh, we're gonna get into some things now, child. So I said to myself, let's do it. So that's what we're gonna do. I think while I'm doing my makeup, I'm gonna actually try to speak to you guys as well. Give you a little bit of a catch up on what I've been up to because we did a lot of things, shall we even went to LA. But without further ado, let's get into this tutorial. Ooh. So we're gonna start off with our eyeshadow base. You guys know I love to use a concealer. Ain't a damn thing changed. However, we are trying out a brand new concealer. I've been loving this one recently. Um, you guys wouldn't know because I've not actually been on here, but I have been loving this concealer. This is the high coverage concealer from Gosh, and it's in the shade, is it Honey? Yeah, it's in the shade Honey. So, just to give you a little bit of what has been going on in October. By the way, Happy New Year. 2020 happy new year girls in october i actually went to la for the very first time it was such a crazy experience i had so much fun i mean i wasn't there for the longest um but i did have such an amazing time so anastasia beverly hills they were doing a halloween party and i was actually invited to attend which was absolutely crazy it's like who who goes like to LA for the first time with a brand and like they're going to like people didn't even get it like my family were like oh so what are you going there for I was like yeah I'm going for a Halloween party they were like huh I was like yeah and like for a party they were like oh it's a part of the job you know so but um, it was absolutely crazy I had such a good time I met so many other influencers out there um a lot of which you know we follow each other but we're not actually able to connect so seeing them for the first time in person was actually crazy. So many stunning looks. Everybody came dressed up. I feel as though in LA, like everybody goes ham. Like the girls, are, girl, they do not play because I'm not gonna lie, when I'm like done up over in London, I do feel like, mm, like, mm, you know? But over in LA, it's like you look left, you look right, you're surrounded by all these bad bees and you're like, ah! I live UK we need to step up those cookies now child now there is one thing that has not changed about me in 2020 we are still using matte liquid lipsticks for our eyeshadow base like what you think girl so this is the agogo matte liquid lipstick from Kat Von actually they've changed their name now they're called KVD vegan beauty but of course I bought this while they were still had the previous name so um this is um a really nice beautiful pumpkin orange shade we're going to be using this just above our crease and we're going to be blending that out i like using matte liquid lipsticks because it helps to give you a nice base to then apply your color on top so it's like double the vibrance because you know we be the king of color over here child and this is perfect for that then literally i take a little bit on the back of my hand i use that as my palette to kind of you know, control the amount that I'm placing on each eye and how much goes onto the brush. 
So as you know, Beyonce's line has this beautiful pigmented orange and then it also has a really deep plumish burgundy sort of colour. I really love the colours and so I knew that I just had to create a look inspired by it. Do you know what? I'm going to actually zoom you guys in a little bit closer so you can actually see the eye job a little bit better. Okay, so you are up close and personal with mother what we're gonna do we're gonna be dipping into this super beauty eyeshadow it's a single in the shade papaya it's this super vibrant pigmented orange absolutely stunning you don't need much of it either so I'm literally just gonna take it in small sections and just build up that color you can see that orange really starting to do some things Perfect, now that we have that orange nice and saturated, I'm gonna take a clean brush and I'm gonna buff out the edges. This look, we are bringing the shadow quite high to the brow because we're gonna need a lot of this space for what we're about to do. So now we are gonna add a little bit of a purpley, burgundy, plummy sort of shade. So this is the hooker shade also from Suva Beauty. It's a single shadow, very similar to the last one. Gonna take a smaller brush and I'm just gonna be focusing that more in my, more in my immediate crease, but still not in my immediate crease. So just right here. Okay, she is nicely saturated. We're gonna dip back into the orange to reinforce it and make sure that it is not lost in the source. And we're also using it to diffuse the edge of that burgundy. Stunning! If I do say so myself. Can you see, Yonce is already proud. She's already like, you, do, you did me proud. I can't do a Beyonce voice. You did me proud, son. <laughs> Dude, that's not her, sorry. Sorry, the Yonsei gods are literally quaking right now, but this eyeshadow, get into it, doll. Perfect, so we've blended it out as much as I think I'm comfortable with. I don't want to blend it out anymore, otherwise it will start to look a little bit muddy and just like one colour. So we still have the two-tone definition going on. going to take the same concealer and then I will be using my black round I don't know what to call it, <laughs> but I'm going to be using this type of brush to cut the crease. And we are going pretty high with this crease, so don't be scared. Then I make slight adjustments. We have perfected the creases, they're looking pretty much symmetrical. Let's clean up the sides of the eyeshadow, right? Taking a little bit of orange at a time. Now I'm gonna be using the Matte Me Liquid Lipstick from Sleek. I've never used liquids on such a fine part of the eye. Now I'm gonna take a little um, blending brush. I'm gonna blend the two together. This is actually gonna be a little bit of a process, so I might stop talking and actually just go for it, and then speed it up after. Now I'm gonna mark out my next orange streak. Add in some more of that plum purple. The Valentine's Day is coming up and I do plan to actually um, do a look for you guys. That video should be up on maybe Tuesday. I'm gonna be setting the orange with the shadows. Going along like this. Okay, so this is what we're working with so far. We've done one, two, three, four of these. Vibrant orange, and just pop that in the inner corner like this. I kind of wish that here was a little bit more defined. It does look a little bit smudged and blurry, but I guess it's just down to, you know, it's a new technique for me firstly. I'm gonna go ahead and place that and connect that to the last arrow. And these shadows are so, so, so pigmented, honestly. So now that one eye is finished, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera and in approximately half an hour. <laughs> I will see you guys again. Perfect, so this is the final eye look. 
Both eyes are complete and we are serving looks on it. Now it is time to move on to the base. Base, the base, the base, the base. So any of you guys who've been an OG supporter, you would know that I don't usually use primer and I didn't believe in primer for the longest time. However, I was actually on set with Boots and Elf and we actually tried this primer out in um, one of the looks that we basically filmed two looks. One look without this, which wasn't as polished and then one look with this and oh my God, the way my skin looked, that's when I said, okay, cool, certain primers do work. So this is the primer I'm gonna be using. This is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, but literally it's been dug all the way out, so I like it, <laughs> clearly. And just place it on my face, like you don't need that much. What they said is that you need a tiny bit, and it actually helps to mattify ever so slightly which I like as well. I'm gonna be using the Milk Makeup Liquid Foundation in the shade Ebony. I believe this is their darkest shade. I actually, either they sent this to me or I received it at an event that they did quite some time ago. So this is an old foundation, but I absolutely love it. I recently went to an event of theirs as well and it just reminded me of how much I love this foundation. Shake this bad boy because after not using it for such a long time, I tried to use it and it kind of separated a little bit, so make sure you shake it. Now that we are talking and we are blending out the foundation, I feel as though when it comes to base, it's so much easier to really just ramble and talk and like really get into some things. Whereas when you're doing the eyes, it takes a little bit more concentration, so you do find yourself, you know, not as talkative yeah like i said i actually um did a shoot with boots and elf which was absolutely amazing that's one thing that i've done since i last spoke to you guys another thing that and you can actually check that those videos on their on the boots youtube page so that was really 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 cool i'm really happy with the results from that as well i posted some of the images from that onto my instagram so definitely check it out like i don't know if you guys you guys can see it on camera but it usually looks smooth anyway, but it just looks extra smooth because of that primer. I'm telling you, it is thebomb.com, darling. So as you guys can see, this contour is really deep and dark and I've been using it for quite some time. Any of you guys who are part of the family would have seen me using this. This is the contour stick in the shade 120 and this is from a brand called Tilt Cosmetics. Love their makeup, literally. Um, it just works perfectly if you're of a really deep complexion. It's the perfect, the perfect contour shade for you. I've not been able to find a contour that goes quite as dark as that. See, we have added our concealer and set the base as well. I do all of that on camera simply because of how long it takes. It's a little bit of a process. As you can see, the bitch kind of transformed. So now what we are gonna do is we're gonna blush a bit. I'm feeling to actually use both of these shades to blush. I'm gonna start off with the orange on the apples of my cheek. And we're going for quite a crazy look, so we are gonna make it quite pigmented. And it actually looks really nice as a blush. I really like that color. I usually use the purple one anyway, but this actually looks really nice. Purple shade and just blend it in. Ooh. Just gonna blend it in behind it now. Guys, I really feel like I'm back. And I feel like I'm coming back with a vengeance. Like, this is such a look. I'm still like blending it in well because I don't want it to look too heavy on them, you know? I'm gonna rub it onto the forehead just so that it ties in with the whole, you know, sun-kissed, reddish, burnt sort of look. I've just had an idea. Why don't I use some orange in the center? love how it's coming out so now to tie in this eye look i'm gonna be going in with my orange uv eyeliner from stargazer you guys know that i love 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 an enhanced inner corner so that is what we are doing so now we're gonna get into the lip and i'm gonna be using the same liner so now i'm gonna go ahead and take my vino tinto matte me lipstick from sleek i'm sure that at this point you guys know how I do my ombres. My lipstick is popping, my lipstick is cool. Otherwise it's stopping and chase me after school. We're gonna take a regular brush and blend the two together. I'm gonna go ahead and set it with the eyeshadows. 
I'm thinking to myself, should I stretch it onto my neck? I think I will. So, as you can see, we have just applied our Anastasia Beverly Hills lashes. I really like these lashes. They're pretty natural looking. I believe that they are vegan though. And I use the Hank and Henry mascara. This is a beautiful mascara, double-ended. You've got the very thin mascara side there. That's what I use to just really get in there, tuck in them lashes. And then you have this side as well that is a lot thicker, a lot larger to really help and add that volume. This look is basically more or less complete. I might grab a hat to complete the look and I will be back in a roly mode. Perfect guys, so the look is complete. Literally, I feel as though the beret just topped it all off, like. Right? Are we not living? So, look is complete, living life. I love the little neck detail that I did. It is a little bit smudgy because what I really need to do is get into body paint. So I'm gonna purchase some body paints as well so that I can start getting a little bit more creative. Really nice creams that you can use along your body and stuff like that so yeah but other than that i'm super pleased with this look i hope you guys enjoyed the look as well and i'm actually most happy with the blush i really like the way the blush looks it looks so just so beautifully blended but yet so glowy stunning so yeah i hope you guys like this look let me know, of course, down below what you would like to see next. It feels crazy to even be saying this because I've not said it in such a long time, but let me know what you would like to see next. And if any of you guys tried out the Ivy Park collection, let me know as well, because I heard that it's so hard to get. Um, it literally sold out like within a minute or something crazy like that. So um, sadly, I don't have any Ivy Park to wear in this video, however, we have Ivy Park self-made on the faces. Priceless. And on that note, I will see you all in my next video. But for now, ciao for meow.